Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, or evening, or good night. Hello. It's nice to be here with you today. Hope everyone's doing well. We are here with another online faith park today. Today, we are talking about temptation. Do you guys know what temptation means? Um, like, uh, like, like you really, really want to do something, but like you're, you're not. You're not supposed to, right? Temptation is the desire to do something, but we know we shouldn't. It's like getting tempted. Imagine that there is a really nice donut just staring in front of you that is for your parents or your friends. Wouldn't that be hard to not eat that donut? And you know you're not supposed to, right? That's temptation. Now, temptation, there's nothing wrong with, with temptation. The problem is, is when we give into it and then trouble comes. And uh, Jesus teaches his disciples about this when he teaches them how to pray. He says, uh, uh, do not leave us, lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And so... Uh, when we we can be tempted at home, you can be tempted to school. What are some things you might be tempted to do at home? Um, um not eat my favorite um cereal. Yeah, I remember uh, the other day someone trying to turn the light off on somebody else because they were in the bathroom. That was not quite nice, was it? Yeah, it was tempting. Yes. So, what are some things that you can be tempted to do at school that you know are not right? Mm. Like sneaking into the teacher's um, um, doors. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you should never. And, and what would you attempt to do when you sneak into their drawers? It's like just take stuff. Right, which is what? Stealing. Stealing. So, so oftentimes we get tempted to do things and then when we follow through, then we kept sinning and doing wrong and wrong and wrong. And when we do that stuff, we, can, we make bad choices for ourselves. And, and get stuck in a tough spot. I want to read to you how Jesus dealt with temptation because although he may be very little, we always seem to be tempted to do things that we shouldn't do. And big or old, it's something that we all have to face. And so it's good to learn it when you're young, right? Because you don't want to get into trouble yeah. and doing wrong things. So um, Jesus had not eaten in a very, very long time, like 40 days. And that is super hungry. So, um, so then this is what happens. For 40 days and 40 nights, he ate nothing and became very hungry. Then the devil came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, change these stones into loaves of bread. Now, is that something that Jesus could do? Could he change the stones into bread? He yes. could do it instantly, but he didn't because Satan was tempting him. Right, because he was... And, and, and what Jesus says... Uh, but Jesus told him, no, the scripture says, the people need more than bread for their life. They must feed on every word of God. So then the devil took him to the highest point of the temple and said, if you are the son of God, jump off. For the scripture says, he orders the angels to protect you and he will hold you in their hands to keep you from striking foot on the stone. Do you know what Jesus said there? I will not do it. Well, yes, he said, like that. Jesus responded, the scripture say, do not test the Lord your God. Next, the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain and showed him the nation. Uh, the world is all in their glory. I'll give it to you, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. So Satan is saying, Jesus, if you kneel down to me, I'll give you everything you can see. He already has everything. Ah, so that's awesome. But here's what Jesus said. He says, get out of here, Satan. Jesus told him, for the scripture says, you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil went away, and the angels came to care for Jesus. So when Satan was tempting Jesus, what did he say back to Jesus? He said scripture back to him, didn't he? For the scripture yeah. says, for the scripture says, for the scripture says. So if we want to help resist temptation, it's important that we study and learn. And, and uh, what are some other ways we can get to know God to make ourselves stronger so that we can resist temptation stuff? Like read the Bible. Read the Bible. And we can pray. Those are some things that are helpful because we don't want to get sucked into wrong stuff. So yeah. if we have God on our side, he helps make us strong so we can do that. And see, Matthew 26 says, 
Watch and pray that you will not fall into temptation. Okay, so we want to be careful. And here is one of my favorite verses. Okay, it says, Submit to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And that's from James 4, 7. So submit to God, which means give God your life. And you want to resist the devil, so try not to do wrong stuff. And I look at this as a promise. When we submit to God, we resist the devil, he will flee from us. Now, we're going to do a little experiment to just talk about getting sucked into some trouble. Okay, so let's adjust our cameras and get set. <laughs> All right, so how's the, how is the temptation going for the, uh, for the donuts, guys? Are they still, are they still in good tempting there? No. Yeah. We'll put the donuts over here. So I do want to say, um, one of the things that's important as a Christian is, is we get to know God. And we can know God by reading and studying the Bible. But are, are, can you guys read really well? No. You're yes. getting there, though, aren't you? Yeah. And, but your parents can read to you. And there are some really fun Bible books with stories in them. This is one of my favorite. Oh, yeah. This is the Jesus Storybook Bible. This one has so many amazing stories in it. I like when, like right here, it says when Jesus teaches his disciples to pray, it says, Hello, Daddy. We want to know you and be close to you. Please show us how. Make everything right in the world again. And in our hearts too. Do what is best like you do in heaven. It's a very simple way to explain those things. The kids. This here is the Action Bible. It's this really is cool. very good as well. This one's full, all full of pictures. really neat pictures and stuff. So that can help our kids learn more about the Bible. So we are talking about getting sucked into temptation. Yes. If you are trying not to eat candy, but you hang it in a candy store... Yeah. What's going to happen? That'd be hard. You're going to eat lots of candy. So the idea is, is, is we do want to try to stay a, a little bit away from temptation. So we have a glass. What's oh, this? A water balloon. A water balloon. And we're going to make have some fun with some fire. Jeez. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to light this on fire. Okay. What are you going to? I'm going to. Oh, we've got a little bit of water in our jar here. Let's get that out. Okay. So we're going to light this on fire. And put it in the quick light. Hold on. You gotta make there. Make a good seal there. So we're gonna light this on fire. Get it burning. There it goes. Oh, it's burning good there now. So let me put it this in here like this. And look what happens to the balloon. Wow. You see that? Do you see how far that's getting sucked into there? It's getting sucked into the hot area. Now here's the thing. Can you get it just out? Look, it does not want to come out on its own. Wait, can you push it? Can you push it in though? I could push it in, but we want to get it out, right? And yeah. so the way this works is we had lit the fire inside. The fire heats the air up, okay? Like sucks and it, it, and it in. And all the all the air went out because it was hot. So then I put the balloon on the top and created a seal. And then as it cooled down, there's less pressure inside than there's outside. So all the air is like I want to get in there. I want to be oh, vacuumed in. Oh, I think I know how. What? You put the, the straw like through there. So we have to to get the balloon out because I can't just, like I cannot just pull it out. It's stuck. Yeah. So to get it out, I have to equalize the pressure inside to outside. Okay. And and I, I like to think this is, this is God helping us do what things right. Because sometimes we get sucked into trouble and we need help. And so this is a good little straw here. And when I put the straw in the side, it will... Equalize the pressure inside, and I should be able to get the balloon. And you just pop out. Should be able to get it right out if I don't pop it first. Don't pop it. Oh, it's stuck to the side of the balloon. Oh, I just pushed it in further. So, it's, oh, see, I still can't get it. We need to equalize. There we go. Now I got the pressure equalized, and I can get it because it's not getting sucked in. <laughs> Yay! It didn't break. Here you go, Daddy. Yes. So that's cool. See, the thing is, is that. The balloon got sucked in there because of the unequal balance of you pressure. Can do it again. And if we have an unequal balance of pressure in our life, so if we're doing a whole bunch of wrong stuff, we're going to get sucked into doing bad things. Like, say that's Satan, and this is you just getting sucked in. Right. So we want to try to stay away from bad things uh, and, and hang out with good, which is good friends, read and learn, okay? And then when, when temptations come, we can be stronger to resist them. Because what does our verse say? Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will what? And he will 
Flee from, from you. Flee is like running away fast. So yes. if we follow God, if we submit to him, we resist, I look at it as the devil has to run. Because God is one. So he has to run. Yeah. Right? So that's our experiment. We're getting sucked into trouble. But we, we equalized the pressure and we were able to get the balloon back out. You guys want to eat some donuts now? They've been sitting here the whole time tempting you. All right. Here's your donut, Malcolm. Good job. Thanks, guys. Well, we'll see you next week with another video. Hope you have a great day. Thanks very much. <laughs> Bye.